my name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a strategic advisor. And one of the things I absolutely adore about business is that we get the opportunity to continually grow and evolve and learn. And so on that topic, I want to share with you about professional development. It is something that I've personally taken very seriously for my life because of a mentor early on in my career. But I also feel very strongly about offering professional development to my team, to the teams that I work with for clients, and to my network. So on the Be Better platform, we focus on professional development once a month for a whole meeting, really delving into some of the questions that we have as professionals, paying attention to the things that are changing, whether in technology or regulation or business practices, and really being at the pulse of our learning and paying attention to learning the kinds of things that will help us be better in business and grow in business. So what are some of the things that you want to pay attention to when you are focusing on professional development? Whether you are helping your team delve into some professional development or are organizing a whole professional development module for a client or your audience even as a problem solver and to enrich their learning. The purpose of professional development is to solve a problem. It doesn't even have to be a really large problem. And in fact, you would want to focus on some, a problem that is manageable and can be addressed in either an hour or 90 minutes or a series of 30 to 90 minute sessions. The series being no more than four to six modules. So think about the problems that you want to solve. If you are not really sure about your audience or your team and the problems they are facing, one of the most important things you can do is ask them. Create a survey and ask for the things that they encounter, whether it's audience or team, they encounter that you can provide a solve for. These are some typical problems that teams and people run into. See if the, any of these are familiar for you. Time management, how can I be more productive? What are some of the strategies that you can follow to be even more efficient? What does it look like to have more joy and more of a sense of purpose in your work. Any and all of those and so many more are problems that your team or your audience, depending on who you serve, will have in their professional lives. Professional development is about being specific and clear, about being tangible. So when you create a professional development tool, be mindful that you don't have to solve all of the problems in the profession, nor do you have to solve all of the problems your team or audience faces. You must focus very specifically and be very micro-driven. In that way, the problem and the solution are both much more tangible. In professional development, one of the tendencies that we can have is to teach at or to speak at our audience. Where professional development is an awesome opportunity to really be incredibly interactive. To think about your audience and your team as vibrant, living, complicated human beings who bring their own points of view and their own perspective to any one of the things that you may offer as a solution. Giving yourself a high success rate in your professional development means that you pause and you pay attention to what your team or your audience has to say back to you. Often their communication might not be verbal, it could be in their body language, in their tone, it can be in their facial expressions. So pay attention to some of those behaviors, either from individuals or the group, that can clue you into how the learning is landing during your professional development module. If this is your first time creating a professional development module or you're experimenting with a certain topic, don't be afraid to ask your first group to be your focus group. In other words, you can show up as very vulnerable as a leader or a coach or a trainer and be mindful of what it is that you are practicing, what it is that you are trying to teach in. Your focus group can give you that feedback 
and then will allow you to adjust your approach so that you can be even more effective in teaching the professional development that you are interested in teaching. So define the problem you want to solve, but then also create key objectives that you want to meet during your session. Be very clear with your team and your audience to let them know what it is that they can expect from you. If you don't set the expectation as a leader, trainer, or coach, your audience and your team will. It leaves them more space to feel confused. It leaves them more space to feel disgruntled or even disconnected with the point that you're trying to make and the learning you want to achieve. Although I've thought about professional development from a very early age in my career, I just recently had the opportunity to collaborate with more clients on creating professional development modules that are impactful, that are highly customized, and that reach a certain objective. So I think of Roger Savvy as a trainer and a professional development guru. As he learns from his audience, he pivots and responds back to them. He creates incredible workbooks and PowerPoint presentations. He's engaging and understands the importance of creating content that is sticky, that actually stays with the learner, stays with the participant, with the team member, with the audience member for many more days, weeks, and years to come. And I think that's what's so magical about professional development is you're teaching something in to a person or a team. And as they're adopting that into their process and into their practice as a professional, they begin to improve on that process and make it even better. If you want to learn more about how you can create impactful professional development modules, know that you don't have to be on your own in that. It can feel quite overwhelming. It's a big ask. You can do a couple of things. Think back on a professional development module that you participated in that was really impactful and look at those notes, pull out those worksheets, see how you can maybe uh, duplicate and mimic the flow of that development that was so impactful for you. But also know that someone like me, a strategic advisor, a business strategist, a coach, we can support you in creating professional development for yourself, your team, your audience that has this stickiness to it, that allows you to relay the information, solve a problem, set the objectives, but for your participant to be able to take that on and to implement it into their practice as a professional. So don't fret, ask for help. I'm here to support you if you would like to chat through the flow of your professional development module.